Hey everybody, this is Robert at sdparkflyers.com. I thought I would do a quick video tutorial. This is going to be a three-part video tutorial series. In the first video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google SketchUp to draw a set of plans that you can then convert using um, some free software programs available online to make your own PDF file that you can actually print out on your printer and cut out your own templates to build your own planes. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Google SketchUp and Google SketchUp opens up in the browser. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Windows tab and you're going to make sure in the Preferences setting that your settings are set for beginning training template unit inches and it says this template is set up for the beginning training course material click OK then you're going to go over to where it says camera standard views make sure it's in the top setting now I've supplied a download a free download of the super slow 28 on my site and what we're going to do is we're going to open up the file for the super slow 28 find the file wherever you have saved it to your hard drive and then open it in Google SketchUp and right now you will see here is the set of plans for the super slow 28 now the trick to get this all to work right is there is a border that is around my drawing here. This border is actually 36 inches long by 18 inches tall. That is exactly the same size of a piece of 9mm 1.3 pound EPP foam. And I've set this up so all the parts will fit on one standard sheet of 9mm foam. And that measures 36 inches by 18 inches. Now the next thing you're going to do when you've designed your plan, and that's the, the key here to make sure you have a border here that's 36 inches by 18 inches. If you design a plane using Google SketchUp, and as long as all the parts of the plane fit inside this rectangle, what you will do to export this is click on File, go down to where it says, oh, let's back up here. What you're going to want to do is before you do anything, click on camera and make sure that your drawing is set to what they call parallel projection. What this does is this flattens any drawing into a flat drawing as you see it here. Once you've clicked on parallel projection then you're going to click on file, export, 2D graphic. Now here's the trick to make everything work in this program so you get the graphics and you get your drawing the exact scale it's supposed to be. After research and doing this many 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 times you're going to click on where it says options here and you're going to change the export image options to say 2725 pixels by height of 1683 pixels. Once again you're going to type in 2725 and 1683 for your pixels and then you're going to hit OK and then you're going to name your file and the name of the file will just be uh, as I'm using here as a demonstration super slow 28 and we're going to call this test B and then I'm going to hit export this the graphics as a PNG file so then once we've done that we're going to close this file and this will end the video portion of the first step of the tutorial so uh, come back soon and visit um, the number two video that says how to convert a Google picture into a set of plans and I will be posting that video next on my YouTube channel please subscribe and if you have any comments please post below and stay tuned for video number two